In this video, we'll learn how to create and define custom symbols in Boxy SVG. We'll be using this DEFS panel again. You recall in the past we've used this to define custom colors and gradients, and also to keep track of our custom text that we use. Well, there is a section right here that's for custom symbols. And to add a custom symbol, we just go down to the plus sign, and we click here to add a new symbol, and just go Add Symbol. That'll add a blank symbol, and then to edit it, we can just right-click and go to Edit Symbol, or we can come over to the icon and just double click. And it takes us into this symbol edit mode, notice in the breadcrumb. We can then draw whatever we want. If we want to do like a check mark, we can draw a check mark. And then when we go back into the SVG mode, we notice our symbol has updated and now we have the symbol. We can left click and drag it in. And we have this to use as a symbol in our artwork. We can't get in and change the color because the color is defined by the symbol. So everything will just stay the same way that it's defined but we can apply a different transform to it. We also can't use the edit tools to edit it directly. If we want to make a change, what we have to do is go into the DEFS panel and then double click here again, and we have to make any changes that we want to here in this panel. So we make the changes, we could come in and change the color if we want to. We can change the color of the stroke. And then when we get back into the SVG mode, it's applied that to all of the instances of that symbol. We can click down in the elements panel to learn more about this symbol. We click on it and we see that it's using this symbol. It's called symbol-0. And if we get back into the DEFS panel, the way that we can change that, uh, right now there's a, there's a name associated and also a symbol ID. This is the name, it's called symbol. We can double click in here to change the name. And so we can call this um, whatever we want, blue check. This is kind of a user friendly title. But the actual symbol that the code will use, to toggle seeing that, we click on this hash sign down here, and it changes this to, so we can see that this is called symbol zero. So clicking this with our left mouse button will toggle what view we're in. So we can also double click up here to change the, uh, the name of the symbol, uh, or I mean the symbol ID. And to do that, we can just change it in here. So we'll call it symbol-blue-zero maybe is kind of a, a better name for the actual symbol ID. And that's how we would change that here. And we see it updates here in the code as well. We can right click on a symbol and go to copy symbol. And then we can either go to edit, uh, paste, or we can use the control, uh, control V on the keyboard to paste that. And now we have a copy of this symbol. It's going to look the exact same, but it's a separate symbol. And if we were to get in and edit it and change the color, it would appear different than the other ones. And there's something else that we can do as well. If we go back into the DEFS panel, we can copy a symbol. It's already copied. I can just do Control V, or this time I'll go Edit Paste to paste that symbol. We can set an attribute over here when we're editing it in the fill or in the stroke. There's a new sixth attribute called Inherit. And what this will let us do is it just sets the color to black, but we can change that color now for each instance of that symbol. I'll show you what I mean. If we go into the DEFS panel and left click and drag this in now, we see it appears to be black, but we can click on each one of these and now we're able to change, oh, we're able to change just the fill color to whatever color that we want to. So we can have these each be a different fill color even though we're using the same symbol. And that's because it has that inherit um, attribute applied to it. it. If it didn't have it, like this one over here does not have the inherit uh, applied. So even though we go to try to change the color, it won't change. So just be aware that that's how that works. And that is available for both the stroke and the fill. You may have noticed when we were in the edit mode, there was a specific view box. And so this view box here is completely square. And we can see in the element that it's 100 by 100 units. Well, we can change that. We can change it right in here if we wanted to. If we just double click, we could make this 50 and hit the return key. And then it changes this view box of what we see. Now when we go back out and drag this in, it'll only show half of that check mark because we adjusted the view box. We're going to learn more about this in another tutorial. But I want to show you, um, there's another way we can change that as well. And that's by just using this view tool. We can change that around. And that's for when we're creating a uh, custom symbol. And also just in our SVG document in general, we can adjust the size by using this view tool. I'm going to just go to File, New, and Create a New Document, because I'm going to show you one more way that we can create uh, a custom symbol, and that is if I just click here, something that people like to create often is a heart. So we'll just create a simple little heart shape, and 
to do that, we'll just drag this up here. So we have a nice heart right here. We can change it to maybe more of a red color. And then once this is already drawn, so this is just drawn here as a path in our document. We can go into the Defs panel and we can just drag this in. Notice we're not seeing our old symbols because they're in a different document. The documents are on the tab across the top here. So this is the old document that has these um, different symbols defined. But this new document doesn't have any symbols. And what we can do is just click the plus sign and go add symbol from selected objects. So since this is selected right now, it will add this in here. And so it takes it out of our document and puts it into our symbols. And now we can left click and drag this and have it as many times as we want. We can apply transform to it and we can use this symbol in our work. So hopefully this has helped you see a little bit more about how the defs panel works and how to define custom symbols in Boxy SVG.